In 2020, Liverpool Mayor Jo Anderson unveiled plans to introduce information plaques on streets and places connected to the city's slave trade. Unfortunately, the list chosen is far from complete and doesn't include several streets named after former Liverpool mayors themselves who traded in human lives. This has raised the question, is Liverpool City Council airbrush in the past? Many locals don't want information plaques, they want the street names changed as they still honour the people who financed kidnap, rape, torture, murder and the enslavement of thousands. Let's not forget that no less than 25 Liverpool mayors were slave traders. There will be no information plaques for Blundell Street, Earl Street, Gilzard Street or Cunliffe Street, all named after Liverpool mayors who were slave traders. Nor will there be a plaque for Rodney Street, named after Admiral Rodney, who was a supporter of slavery, or Gladstone Street, named after the Gladstones, who were slave traders and plantation owners. Yes, that would be the same family which also included four times Prime Minister William Gladstone. Perhaps the most shocking exclusion of all is Gregson Street. William Gregson was a Liverpool mayor and slave trader. His syndicate financed the Zong Massacre of 1781. That was when the crew of one of his slave ships threw 132 men, women and children into the ocean, alive and bound to claim on the insurance. Mass murder. A Gregson crew dumped another 106 slaves in the ocean earlier that year and thousands more on other voyages. So how dare Liverpool Council and local historians turn a blind eye to these atrocities? Gregson Street doesn't even feature in local slavery pamphlets. Why not? William Gregson was one of the most prolific slave traders in history, with a stake in 152 voyages, trading in almost 60,000 lives. Over 9,000 of his slaves died, were murdered or drowned. How can history just forget about them? Is it because over the years Gregson's family syndicates comprised of at least three Liverpool mayors? Liverpool mayors finance a mass murder and human trafficking? A local historian claims it's not about a league table of who was the worst slave trader. Maybe so, but why would you exclude the most chilling chapter in Liverpool's history if the aim is to inform and educate? And amongst all this there is still no mention of the Irish slaves. It's clear to me that the airbrush is at work and I feel these plaques are being used to deflect the tourist away from more prominent public figures, mayors, deeds and places such as the town hall itself which was developed with the profits of slavery. But there'll be no plaque for the town hall either, a place where the Lord Mayors still operate and proudly wear the same style outfits and chains of their evil predecessors. No plaque either for the Liverpool to Manchester rail line which was co-funded by slave traders or the old bank buildings which went on to become household names. We can deal with the ongoing debate of Penny Lane in another video. The public must decide. Liverpool City Council cannot dodge the past any longer. So I'm asking Mayor Anderson to step up and do the right thing.